Welcome back to another episode of Out Loud Geek, where we discuss news and views about pop culture, science fiction, fantasy, food, cooking, the outdoors, and more. Last night, I briefly put on Wheel of Fortune, where I observed one of the contestants experience a very obvious and clearly painful brain fart on national TV. I haven't spoken about the Wheel of Fortune game show since last year, but this particular episode deserves some attention. Let's find out what happened. Hi, there's the puzzle, and Gwen, you're going to start us. The puzzle in question contained three words that were eight letters each, and the subject of the puzzle was event. Could the contestant named Gwen solve the puzzle? Naturally, she spun the wheel first. She had a nice last one. Let's see what happens here. 900. S. The first consonant that she guessed was an S, which is actually a very good letter to start with because it's one of the most commonly used consonants in the English language. Let's see if her guess was correct. Actually, three of them. So she did pretty well by getting three S's, which revealed part of the first and last words, but obviously not really enough letters to yet know what this event puzzle was, since there were still 21 unknown letters. But let's see what she did next. I'd like to buy an E. Okay, she bought the letter E, which is her second guess, and it was also a very good choice because E is one of the most commonly used vowels in the English language. Let's see if her strategy worked. Okay, let's look into that. Two E's. Okay, she got two E's, so she had then revealed at least one letter in each of the three eight-letter words with 19 unknown letters remaining. Let's see what she did next. I'd like to buy an I. She then chose to buy an I, which wasn't an unreasonable third guess on her part since it might very well be the vowel that precedes the S and the E at the end of the first word. But was she right? And we can do that too. Two I's. So she got two I's, which revealed another letter in the first and second words. And the identity of the first word was beginning to become more obvious with half of its letters revealed. But at this stage, it's still not clear what the second and third words were given that only one or two letters had been revealed in each one. Still, she had uncovered a total of seven letters at that point, leaving 17 unknown letters left. So let's see what she did next since she spun the wheel. Oh boy, well, let's start with a letter. R. Her fourth guess, the consonant R, is also a perfectly reasonable guess because R is another very commonly used letter in the English language. But did she get any? There are five R's. Well, this might complicate your decision. Uh, Look, here's the story. Uh... Okay, that was a truly excellent fourth guess on her part because she got five R's. Two R's in the first word so that there were only two unknown letters left, making its meaning rather obvious at that point. Two R's in the second word and they were side by side, and that gave another great clue as to what that second word could have been. And finally, she got her second letter in the third word, whose meaning may have started to become guessworthy at that point thanks to more letters being revealed in the first two words. Thus, in four guesses, she had uncovered 12 of the letters, which meant that she had half of the letters revealed at that point in the puzzle. Now let's see what happened next, since the space that she had landed on was either $1,000 if she did not turn it over, or possibly $10,000 or bankrupt if she did turn it over. $5,000 for the R's, you have $2,200. You'll be risking $7,200 trying to get $10,000 down there. I don't know, you want to do it? I mean, you're a flight surgeon, who knows? (laughs) (laughs) I'll pass, I'll pass. Deciding not to turn the space over was the smart choice, I think, because she got $5,000 for the five R's, and she might have lost that and the other $2,200 that she already had if she had turned it over and it had ended up being a bankrupt space. Let's see what she decided to do next. I would like to buy another vowel. Mm -hmm. I will buy the U. This was her fifth guess, and it was a very safe one because the first word was very likely the word surprise. So she not only wanted to confirm that, she also probably wanted to see if there were other U's hidden in the other two words. But was she right? Okay, one U. 
Okay, there was only one U, but she then knew that the fourth letter of the first word was a P. So what did she decide to do next? P. She played this very smartly by deciding to spin the wheel and guess the consonant P, which was the obvious remaining hidden letter in the first word. But were any of the other hidden characters also a P? Three Ps, another $1,800. So her sixth guess was also very good by revealing not just one letter P, but three. And the two additional ones were in the third word, which had remained mostly hidden up until that point. So after six guesses, she had uncovered 16 letters, which was 66% of the puzzle, including the entire first word. And there were only eight hidden letters remaining, but the meaning of this event puzzle was starting to become more clear at this point. So let's see what she decided to do next. I would like to buy an O. In this instance, she was somewhat hesitant in buying an O, which was the first time during this particular puzzle that she was clearly less certain about her guess. But was she right? Yeah, that should help two O's. So her hesitant seventh guess was correct and revealed two O's, which were both in the third word, leaving only its two last letters hidden. But the meaning of the third word had become obvious at this point. Did she know what the event puzzle was yet? Let's watch her next choice. And I'd like to buy the A as well. So with no hesitancy for her eighth guess, she buys an A, and it's obvious that she's right because Pat Sajak speaks up immediately. Yeah, there you go. You're doing, picking up on this, and that's going to help you out a lot, I think. I have $8,250. So she got three A's, which confirmed the meaning of the third word, and it also made the meaning of the second word rather obvious at that point. Since there were no vowels remaining because she had bought all of them, with $8,250 and only three hidden characters remaining, did she spin the wheel again or did she try to solve the puzzle? Let's remember that everything that she had done up to this point was absolutely correct. I like to solve. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, it was a little muddled there in the audio, but she had decided to solve the puzzle. And it was rather obvious what the puzzle was. Let's hear what her solution was. Surprise carriage proposal. Wait, what did she say? Surprise carriage proposal. Yeah, I know. It's sometimes you get excited and your mouth doesn't say what your brain intended. I'm sorry. Wow. She had just systematically revealed practically every letter in the puzzle. And with the answer being so obvious, she said, surprise carriage proposal. I have absolutely no idea how the word carriage had even entered into her mind at this point. What the heck would a carriage proposal be and why would it be a surprise? Unfortunately, her answer was wrong and made absolutely no sense whatsoever. And I was shocked when she said that because she'd gotten everything else right up to that point. She had $8,250 and she lost that thanks to a brain fart. So does the next contestant get the puzzle right? Ron, it's your turn. I'd like to solve, please, Pat. Okay. Surprise marriage proposal. Wow, uh, yeah. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, the third contestant immediately solved the puzzle without even spinning the wheel and got $1,000. Well, as you know, you watch the show enough, stuff like that happens sometimes, and there's no explaining. But here's the rule, Gwen. You know this as a flight surgeon. You put that behind you, that's done. Absolutely. Nothing you can do. We'll worry about the next round. Meantime, Ron, you got $1,000. So Pat tried to comfort Gwen one more time, but the third contestant eventually went on to win the show, and then he went to the bonus round, which he also won. Had Gwen not had the brain fart, she probably would have gone to the bonus round herself. But instead, she's always going to remember saying surprise carriage proposal and losing over $8,000 on that one puzzle. That's how it goes sometimes on Wheel of Fortune, which I sometimes like to call Wheel of Misfortune. Thanks for watching today, and a huge thanks to everyone who has subscribed to our channel. 
We appreciate your support. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button and please feel free to share a comment. If you'd like to help support this channel, please press the red subscribe button and please press the bell to receive notifications for new content. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, Threads, and Twitter by clicking on the links in the description. Until next time, this is Out Loud Geek.